Welcome to The Road to Glasgow, episode three. I'm here at the Tartan Couch with Mossy, and we've got Clyde here as well. And Mossy, tell us where we've been. Mate, we've been over at Perth there into Western Australia, the city of light, uh, for the Go for Two and Five Perth Track Classic. Massive meet over there, huge vibe, Robbo. It was awesome. Yeah, mate, it certainly was. And some of the standout performances of the night, it was it was an amazing night to see that we had a whole bunch of A-standard a qualifiers for the Com Games. Alana Boyd and the pole vault, she had a great uh, meet. Sally Pearson, Mel Breen in the 100, and the three Ks, the special Ks in the Javelin, uh, Kim Mickle, Catherine Mitchell, and Kelsey Lee Roberts all posting A's, but we had 27 B qualifiers as well. Uh, highlights also, LaShawn Merritt in the 400, and the Herb Elliott Mile taken out by James Magut, with Collis Birmingham in second, Mitch Robertson from Ireland in third, the three of them all went sub four in the mile. A absolutely epic night, and it was great to be there. Absolutely, mate. Now, it was the go for two and five Perth Track Classic. We had an opportunity to catch up with many of the stars before the actual event. We asked them a very simple question. What was your favourite fruit and what was your favourite vegetable? Oh, definitely a banana and probably a tomato. <sighs> Kiwi. Kiwi. Broccoli. Um, tomatoes. Oh, jeez. I don't mind a bit of broccoli, actually. Um, oranges. Um, orangey. Well, Mossy, the Tartan Couch played host to a number of the best athletes in the world and here in Australia. And uh, tell us about a little bit about who we had on the couch last night. Mate, the first one we had uh, coming off the ranks was Sally Pearson. She absolutely smoked him in the 100 metre hurdles leading up to uh, Sopo, uh, the World Indoor Championships. Uh, she jumped on the couch and uh, here's how it went. Um, well, firstly, what I want to do is I actually want to uh, just um, allow you to hold this guy by uh, this while it's on. This is Clyde. He's the uh, the Commonwealth Games mascot. Um, yeah, so he, he's a Scottish uh, thistle. Uh, there's only one in Australia, and that's him now. He's actually currently on tour. He's going around to all the different rivers uh, in the Commonwealth. So the Swan <laughs> River here. Yeah. So you're the uh, first well, we uh, to hold him. So that's that's the most important thing. And I'm yeah, definitely. Happy to be the first one to hold him. He's going to be my friend first tonight, I think. A great run tonight. You, you look pretty happy with that after oh, the end. Oh, stoked. I was so happy. You know, changing coaches and, and not really knowing what, what I'm going to do in the first season with running with him. But it just shows us tonight that we're on fire and we're ready to go to shake up some feathers. <laughs> and, and Sally, uh, ahead of uh, your indoor yeah. uh, title defence coming up in less than a couple of weeks. And tell us, have you got the inside scoop? Is it Sopo? Sopo? Sopo. Isn't there a tea on the end? Yeah. So <laughs> pot. <laughs> so pot. So pot. There I you go. So pot, there you go. Mossy's know. been trying to get all exotic and, and European on us and calling. Yeah, I think there's so a lot of and, I don't care yeah. as long as I win. But you're, pumped, but you're pumped for it? Oh, man. After that race, I'm so glad I got my first 100 metre hurdles out of the way. And everyone knows, whoever's a hurdle, everyone knows how scary the first race always is. And you always want to get it right. And I definitely did that tonight. Worse. And you hit that first hurdle sweet. Out I of the think blocks. so. Yeah. I don't always remember what happens. Yeah, yeah. So I think when you can't remember, it means it's a good race. Perfect. Now, important question, Sal. Yes. You know it's the go for two and five first track classic. Now I'm thinking about stealing some bananas. Yeah. There. Well, yeah. can we get you one? Yeah, you certainly can. There you go. So sweet as. Thank I'll you. Even feel oh, it for I you. eat it. There it's you are. Recovery food. Now, now is this there anything to do with being a Queenslander? The fact that you've gone for the banana there. So we um, took. Well, I am born in New South Wales. Oh, we'll claim you. <laughs> but I do love them. They're Excellent. Good. Well, you've got a big uh, race coming up again tonight. Should be an absolute cracker. Well, I can watch the race that's coming up. Oh, so yeah, you're not running? No. Um, as I said, my hamstring, not 100%, and I don't want to push it before SOPO. <laughs> this is all part of the recovery. Get the it banana is. in, have a good warm down, and uh, thanks for spending time with us on the Tartan Couch. No we'll problem. be cheering for you for the rest of the season. Cool, thank you very much. Sally Pearson, the winner tonight of the uh, women's 100 metre hurdles. And next up we had Mel Breen and Mel Breen came through. She had a bit of a slip over in the start of the uh, 100 metres. And it was the second last event of the night. She managed to steady herself for the, for the second start and she came through in a storming A qualifier 11.31. And we managed to have a catch up with her for her debut on the Tartan Couch. Let's see how it went. Mel Breen, congratulations. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. It was a little bit unsettling at the start to kind of Tell fall us. over. Yes. What happened there with the blocks? My blocks just went completely backwards. They were in, but I must have just been a little bit too powerful, what? I think. Oh, uh, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll no, no, no. I'll, I'll go with that, Mel, because I've, I've been watching some of the uh, the power lifts on the Instagram, the videos Thanks. going up, so you've been obviously working hard. So, yeah, to obliterate the, the blocks, yeah. you've, um, you've done well. I was very worried because I could see everyone running off, and I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, but then the second gun went, and 
then someone stood on my block, so it was fine then. Yep. But I was just, I was feeling quite nervous after yeah. that, so I'm really happy to run another A qualifier. Yeah. Would have loved to run a bit quicker, but um, definitely another A in the bank is just awesome. Yeah, fantastic. In terms of not having Sally in the race, obviously changed the landscape a little bit, and you know, as as we do in the uh, in the community, we get a bit carried away, and we're talking it up sub 11s and yeah, all this I appreciate sort of stuff. That it's great. Totally, <laughs> and it's it's built, and you know what it's done is is um, built so much hype around the sport, and it's been great. Um, and you know, I look forward to those future battles that you guys will have. Yeah, it's but, just, it's so exciting for women's sprinting and sprinting in general in Australia to have that, I guess, real talking point yep. now. And hopefully over the next yeah few months and years that Sally and I can push each other to get that sub 11 time. Yeah, perfect. Well, I, I hope we're on the couch <laughs> to watch that one, Mossy. Yeah, you're, you're starting to uh, you know really put athletics on the map. But what about yourself? Uh, the last couple of weeks must have been just such a whirlwind yeah, of media yeah. <laughs> and all sorts of stuff going on. It's been absolutely amazing. I've enjoyed every second of it. It's brought so much attention to myself and the sport of athletics, which is awesome because there's so many sports in Australia that grab the attention and it's great to be in the papers and hopefully people have been getting sick of me in the papers. Oh no, we can't get enough of you. Here you are on the but, Tartan um, Couch. Yeah, see, well, I love you, being here. You wouldn't be on the Tartan Couch if you hadn't have won, see? It's, yeah, this that's is true. A, this, is, this is the winning podium. Th would we say that it this is. has been the inspiration? <laughs> yes, got, a, got a couple of quick ones for yep. you. Uh, a serious question, which serious, is quite rare. Yes. Commonwealth Games. Okay. Um, what's your expectations? I My original, four weeks ago if you'd have asked me, I would have been to make the final. Yep. Um, now I want to win a medal. Yes. I think, obviously you can't, it's very hard to compare year to year because Delhi, the, not too many of the top Jamaicans came, but they are coming this year and I think that if everything goes right between now and then, I stay injury free and I stay healthy, then the 11 is definitely on the cards and I think if I can manage that in the final of Glasgow, a medal is definitely possible. Well, we're going to cheer you on all <laughs> the way. You. Last question, yeah. it's the go for two and five, Perth Track Classic. If you had a choice of a vegetable or a fruit, let's mm -hmm. just go fruit, what's your favourite fruit? Doesn't have to be there, but just in My general. My favourite fruit is probably mango. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Mango's the winner. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we don't have any. We, yeah, no. I know. So what's it, out of what All we've got those here. Ones. Mm. Broccoli, kiwi. Probably bananas. Corn. Yeah, yeah, well, listen, you can join That'll a long help list. With my of, recovery. <laughs> yeah, you can, the long list of champions oh. tonight have gone for okay, the, so uh, the this, humble hold banana. This and eat a banana. Okay. Yeah, well, you know. With great there Thank you. There you are. Beautiful. First well, banana. Mel Breen, <laughs> absolute legend of athletics, the uh, fastest woman ever. Uh, it's uh, been under the banner of <laughs> the Australian Green and Gold. Thanks so much for joining us on the Tartan Couch. And hey, we want to catch you here again. I'll be back. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Round of applause. Oh. Well done. And of course, LaShawn Merritt was there absolutely smoking along in the 400 metres, Robbo. Really interesting character. Uh, he jumped on the couch. We couldn't even get off it. Tell us about that one, mate. A nice little win. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, wanted to come out and, and run well, you know. The ultimate goal was to finish up healthy, uh, work on some things. It's early for me. Uh, got the W. You know, I talked to the guys before and after the meet and told them uh, thank you for having me here and I love it here. You all live in a great place. Uh, definitely have to invite me back soon. So you, you said that you've been working on a few things. Um, what, what, what's that been? Uh, well for me it's, it's early in the season. I just started training not too long ago. So with me not having a major championship this year, I said I'll run more 200. Um, so I haven't ran in what six, seven months. You know, so I just wanted to get out good, uh, fill the competition down the back stretch. It was a little more win than I expected, but it felt good. I wanted to come home and finish strong. And uh, that's what I did. I didn't want to reel back too much and, and, and stay tight through the abdominal and finish the race up strong. So I'm pleased with that. And uh, LaShawn, I feel a bit bad for you. You know, you just mentioned there you don't have any major championships coming up. We've, we're pretty connected, Mossy and I, and we can probably uh, rush through a naturalization process for you and we could we could make you an Aussie and you could get over to Glasgow <laughs> oh, and man. compete for Australia man I don't Is know that how tempting? <laughs> I don't know how the US will feel about that uh, they, they won't you let me go loan you short term loan <laughs> you've done enough for them yeah, you've done gold plenty. medals and you know hey, you realize I love it here I love yeah, it here well, I could just gonna... uh, train on the beach a lot they are well, we're not going to let you go my friend <laughs> so so Looks where good. to where to from here oh back home I'll head back home tomorrow uh down to Florida train in Florida so it's pretty, it's, it feels like this during the day in Florida. So, uh, been training in some good conditions. I'll head back over for the meet in Sydney and Melbourne. Perfect. Cool. Now, I don't know if you can remember, but we did ask you the question about uh, your favourite fruit. Uh, can you remember what it was? <laughs> yes, I said, I was about to say kiwi 
<laughs> strawberry. <laughs> You know, because I like kiwi strawberry, but it's very fruit is kiwi. Well, oh. we got ourselves a kiwi here, my friends. Nice. You can actually take two of them with you. There you, you. are. Thank All, you. There there you are. As a special little gift Thank from uh, not just uh, Robo, Mossy, Clyde and the Tartan Couch, but from the whole of uh, the athletics community. It's been so great to see you out here and Thank lighting you. it up tonight with the big W. Uh, thank you. I love the hospitality. I I may have to tell the U.S. to watch out. <laughs> <laughs> very right. good. Ladies and gentlemen, LaShawn Merritt. Oh, and that, well my friends, is an ovation. Well played. Thank you. Yep. And Mossy, after the meet, we managed to catch up with a couple of other winners on the night. Josh Ralph in the 800 metres, another PB. That's the third for him in a row. And we also caught up with the man that loves a bit of air, Chris Doddy Dodd. Three PBs in a row now. And uh, when's this great run going to end? Um, I know one day uh, you know, it'll uh, come to an end, but I'm hoping just to keep um, going onwards and upwards and... Um, this season, um, I'm not really sure what I can do, so I'm, I'm hoping just to keep keep this trend going and, and see what happens. Ralph, I wanted to speak on that, and obviously, you know, you, you're a, you're a, a man that's that loves his athletics and track and field. And do you feel destined to one day break Ralph Dobell's uh, national record, given that you share a name? <laughs> um, m maybe the name's part of it, but um, I'm not sure. Like that, that's 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 a long way off. Um, that's what the people have been saying that for years, mate. We need someone right now on the Titan couch to say I'm the man. Well, I I'm not going to put my hand up yet. It's, it's, it's my it's only my third third eight hundred, so I'm still I'm still learning. Um, so I've I've got a lot more to learn until I can get into into to Jeff Risley's cast in that sense. Well, what I is your favourite fruit? My favourite fruit. Um, I'd probably say a blood plum, actually. Um, they're, they're not around very wow. often. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's just so tasty and juicy, and if they're really ripe, I could just smash a hundred of them in a day. There you go. Yeah, oh, it's great. Wow. So we've had three mangoes tonight, but that is the first blood plum. Oh, I'm glad. And, uh, and sitting next to a blood nut, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you've yeah. got to be pretty I'm happy with that. <laughs> but uh, Josh, Josh Ralph, great to spend time with you here on the mobile Tartan Couch, and all the very best for the rest of your season. And we'll see you in Glasgow with a bit of luck. Awesome. Thanks, Ace, mate. Pleasure. We're, in, we're joining the Mile High Club here for the Tartan Couch. We're with a uh, legendary high jumper from the Central Coast, Chris Dodd, 223 last night. You must be pretty stoked. Yeah, mate, very stoked to get the 23. Um, I was feeling pretty good in the warm-up, so um, I was pretty confident I had it in me. You uh, jumped 220 uh, earlier in the season. Uh, what was the difference for you uh, last night just to get that, that little bit higher? Just a bit more practice. Um, the 220 was the first jump of the season for me, and um, it was the first full time I've gone off that full uh, new run-up, so um, just the, the extra bit of practice really makes a difference. Is it true the fact that uh, you knew that a, a really good jump would see you on the tartan couch once again? <laughs> I wanted to wear that hat again, so <laughs> I knew what, I knew I had to win. And mate, well, what uh, would you pick as your favourite fruit and veggies? Um, at the moment, I can't go past a good plum, which I smashed just before I jumped, and the bananas always go well. Uh, in terms of veggies, I'll just take whatever I get. <laughs> Look, plums are starting to come into play here. It was uh, Ralph last night who said that uh, he likes a blood plum. Are you partial to the blood part of the plum? Oh, yeah, I like a good blood plum. I like a good blood orange as well. I won't say no to them if they're around. But... Yeah, well, I'm right here, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just our uh, last thing here, we're, we're right here um, with the emergency exit right behind you. Do you know, do you know what to do in case of an emergency? Oh, I think you just hit a lever and jump. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Well, we were next, you're pretty good at jumping, so we'll, we'll stick with you if it all starts to go down. But uh, yeah, thanks for spending time on the, uh, the Mile High Tartan couch with us. We look forward to seeing you jumping next. Where are you uh, competing next on the tour? Uh, next on the tour will be Sydney, so the hometown advantage. I'll try and get some mates down there and with a bit of extra support and see how we go. We'll definitely get you on the Titan couch for that one. Beautiful. Thanks for having me again, boys. Get Mossy and Robbo to Glasgow. Well, Mossy, we've got some more Perth Track Classic coverage coming up next week. That's all we've got time for this week, mate. Tell us what else we've got to look forward to. Yeah, we've got Sydney coming up very shortly. Then we're going to Melbourne before the Nationals. Don't forget to contact us at Mossy and Robbo, hashtag Tartan Couch. And Mossy, is it true we're at the airport? Are you getting on the plane to Sapo right now? Absolutely, mate. Heading straight over there to Poland. Uh, probably in about uh, a day and a half, I'll be dipping my toes in the water on the edge of the longest jetty in the whole of Europe. 
Well, mate, have a great trip and we'll see you again on the Tartan Couch.